So you wanna break into cybersecurity in 2025, but you have no idea where to start. Don't worry because I was in your exact position not too long ago, and now I've been working in cybersecurity for over one year now. And I thought it'd be really helpful to create a video like this one to see what I would do if I had to restart my cybersecurity career from scratch in 2025. And I'll walk you guys through exactly what I would do in order to get to where I am today. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ben, and I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Also. If you find this video insightful and helpful, be sure to drop me a like. It helps out my channel a lot. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing I would do is look into getting some free training. And the reason for this is because when you start your cybersecurity career, first of all, you're not sure what you want to do in cybersecurity. And also, you're not sure whether or not cybersecurity is even a right fit for you. So my main goal is to take advantage of free training to get a better understanding of cybersecurity and if it's a right fit for my interest and my skill set. Now, some of the free resources that I recommend you guys check out is going to be the cybersecurity IBM skills build training courses and also the introduction to cybersecurity offered by Cisco. If you guys want to check out all the resources that I mentioned in this video, I'll leave a link to all of them down in the description box below. These are both free training programs offered by reputable companies. So it's going to be a great way for you to get your cybersecurity foundational knowledge and basic concepts. So now that you've gotten a better idea of whether or not cybersecurity is a right fit for you and also some basic knowledge on what cybersecurity is, the next step is going to be starting to get some beginner level training and certifications. A perfect example of this is going to be Zero to Mastery's Become an Ethical Hacker and Cybersecurity Expert course. ZTM is an online learning platform that offers structured beginner friendly courses that are designed to take you from zero to hired in cybersecurity. As opposed to some of the other training that I'll mention in this video, this isn't just the course, it's an entire roadmap that walks you through everything you need to know step by step. And if your interests change, they also offer for hundreds of different courses that cover different technical fields. What makes ZTM stand out is their hands-on projects that make learning easy and engaging. Plus, they have community support where you can get help anytime you have questions. There's a reason why they have thousands of positive testimonials and also a 4.9 review rating on Trustpilot. They've helped countless people learn cybersecurity and land jobs in the industry. ZTM also offers courses on some of the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certifications that I'll mention throughout this video, like the Network Plus, Security Plus, and also the AWS Cloud Practitioner. And this is all included in one low monthly fee. If you wanna check out ZTM, I'll leave a link to their courses down in the description box below. Thank you to Zero to Mastery for sponsoring today's video. Now to add on to beginner level training, the next one on the list is going to be Coursera's Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. The Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is relatively new, it has a bunch of good reviews, and it's been extremely popular as of late because of how beginner friendly it is, and also it's taught by Google professionals. It's made up of eight different modules that go over different concepts in cybersecurity, and it contains a lot of videos, readings, and it's really engaging and well-made. At the end of these different modules, they also have quizzes to demonstrate your knowledge and see if you're really understanding what you're learning. The course itself is completely online and self-paced and it costs $49 per month. So if you finish the entire certificate in one month, you'll only pay $49. So you only pay for the amount of time you take. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box as well. So now that we have some beginner training and some beginner certificates under our belt, the next step is going to be slightly more advanced level certifications. This is going to be the Security Plus certification. The Security Plus is the the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certification. And if you look at cybersecurity job listings, you'll probably see the Security Plus as one of the requirements. The one thing about the Security Plus is that it's not an advanced certification by any means, but it does cover a lot of different concepts in cybersecurity, but it doesn't go deep in any of them. So you'll have to learn and know so many different concepts in cybersecurity, but you don't have to know too much about each of them. I was able to pass the Security Plus certification in nine days, and I created a video walking you guys through exactly what I did to pass it. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below and also in the cards somewhere over here. So after the Security Plus, the next one on the list is going to be the Network Plus. Networking is a huge part of cybersecurity and having this basic understanding of networking and how these different things work is gonna be so fundamental when you start learning more and more complex concepts in cybersecurity. And just like the Security Plus, the Network Plus is also one of the most popular certifications when it comes to IT and cybersecurity. So there's gonna be so many different learning resources out there to use and study for the Network Plus. One of the most popular ways to study for the Network Plus is through Professor Messer YouTube videos or Udemy courses 
or also using a textbook. So after getting Security Plus and the Network Plus, the next one I look into is an entry level cloud certification. And the reason for that is because cloud computing is going to be so important to have because so many companies nowadays are pivoting towards the cloud for their IT infrastructure and computing. So having a basic understanding of how cloud computing works, how to use cloud computing platforms is going to be so important for you to have and also to look really good on your resume when applying for these different cybersecurity roles. So for this one, I recommend looking into the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. I also passed this one in seven days and I made a video documenting exactly how I did it. So I'll leave a link to that also in the description box below. You can also look into Google or Azure as well as they also offer beginner level certifications. So those are also worth checking out. So now we have the Security Plus, the Network Plus, and maybe a cloud certification under our belt. And now it's going to be time for you to do some reflection and determine what route you want to take when it comes to cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is such a vast industry and there's so many different roles to choose from that require different skill sets. So at this point, you want to do some reflection and ask yourself, what's your current skill set? What are your strengths and weaknesses? What are your interests? What kind of lifestyle you want when it comes to cybersecurity and work? And those are going to be some questions you need to ask in order to determine what role is going to fit you best in cybersecurity. And just to give you some examples, if you really enjoy being technical, if you enjoy coding, if you like puzzles, maybe a red team or penetration testing role is going to be a good fit for you. If you're someone who likes doing investigations or solving mysteries, maybe a SOC analyst role or a threat intelligence role would be a good fit for you. If you're someone like me who enjoys more of the business side of cybersecurity and more of the compliance side and less technical, then those roles like GRC is going to be a good fit for you or cybersecurity risk. But one of the most popular jobs when it comes to starting off in cybersecurity is going to be the security operations center analyst role. This is because you'll work with a bunch of different tools, you'll conduct investigations, and you'll get a better understanding of an organization's overall cybersecurity posture. So once you get a better idea of what cybersecurity role is going to fit you the best, you want to create a structured plan on what kind of skills you need to develop for these different roles and what kind of certifications are they looking out for. And from there, that's going to dictate what certifications you're going to take and what skills you need to start developing. So the next step would be starting to get advanced level certifications and also some hands-on experience. One of the best ways to get hands-on experience and also get a better idea of what cybersecurity role is going to fit you the best is through TriHackMe's different learning pathways. This is a perfect way for you to get a taste of what kind of skill set you need and what kind of tools you'll be working with in these different cybersecurity roles. So when it comes to advanced level certifications for blue teaming, I'd recommend the blue team level one certification offered by security blue team. It's an intermediate to advanced level certification that's really intuitive because it gives you hands on experience with labs and also the final exam is a completely hands on experience. If you want to go into red teaming or penetration testing, the OSCP is going to be the golden ticket for these different roles. If you want to go into GRC, maybe building towards the CISA or the CISM, these are going to be some GRC certifications that are pretty advanced, but maybe you want to start building towards those certifications. Another great entry level GRC training is going to be GRC Mastery, and I'll leave a link to all of these trainings down in the description box below. The certifications that I just mentioned are some pretty advanced level certifications, so there are a lot of intermediate certifications that are sort of like a step down from the ones I just mentioned. So do your own research. I think this video would last forever if I had to name all the certifications that I recommend to you guys. But the ones that I mentioned throughout this video are going to be some of the main ones that I recommend if I were to start my career from scratch in 2025. I hope this video gave you guys some more clarity on where to start and sort of the mindset you need to have when it comes to starting your career in cybersecurity in 2025. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to drop me a like as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos like this one every single week helping you break into cybersecurity. So make sure you guys don't miss out and subscribe to the channel. If you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that said though, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.